Hello! A while ago, when I updated my long-term Let's Play Survival Worlds to 118, I ran into an interesting problem. And the problem was with this farm down here. It's a ghast farm, and um, I've had problems with it before, and it's because it is placed a little bit too close to my mob switch. So this AFK spot here has been placed, if we look at chunk borders, it's on a chunk border right here, because this was the first chunk that was far enough away from the mob switch so that my never mob switch wouldn't be loaded when I'm AFKing here. But when I update it to 118, suddenly this area loaded the never mob switch again, and I had to lower the view distance in the server configuration by one chunk, so from 16 to 15. And uh, this is kind of weird because uh, apparently something about how chunks are loaded and how hostile mobs are loaded in the chunks and how mob switches in that case also work has somewhat changed in uh, 118. And um, I want to investigate what actually happened and how it has changed. So let's do some testing. And just for these tests, I have disabled all mods uh, that have anything to do with rendering. So I don't have Iris, I don't have Sodium. We want to do this with the default renderer. So maybe the framework is not going to be great, but uh, we can live with that. First things first, we need to move away from here about a thousand blocks in any direction uh, because I don't want to be in the spawn chunks. Bam, we are now not in the spawn chunks. And uh, let's get a zombie villager. Let's get the villager in, trade with him once, just buy some redstone, because of course we need to buy redstone. Let's get the zombie in, and let's zombify our villager. There we go. Now we have a zombie villager. We can see that we have two hostile mobs. It's the first number, the 2 slash 70. And if I just move away a bunch of blocks, eventually the zombie should despawn. It should happen about now, right? But the zombie villager, no matter how far I move, the zombie villager is still loaded. And we have a huge render distance as well. Uh, we're going to change that in a minute. So the zombie villager is in this chunk right here. If we lower our render distance to something less reasonable, because 32 chunks would be actually quite reasonable if it worked properly with good frame rates. Um, we're gonna ignore simulation distance because I don't think it matters. So with a render distance of five chunks, I'm not expecting to be able to get away more than maybe seven chunks before this guy unloads. Uh, let's see. We're moving one chunk, two chunks, three, four, Five. So this is now, he is now outside of our render distance. I can actually see a little bit of a shadow there. I don't know if it will render properly, but I can see something there. Eight. Oh, here he disappeared. And let's move back. One. He is loaded now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And in the eighth chunk this guy is loaded. So that's how it works. So if I change the render distance to six chunks, I'm expecting to be able to move nine chunks away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth, and nothing here. So the first chunk that where we're loading him is this one. Chunk number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, and in the ninth chunk. So it seems that the render distance setting plus three is how far we are loading things. And that corresponds a little bit how it was in the past where render distance would be the entity processing chunks and then you would have one layer of uh, redstone processing chunks and then one more lazy chunk and then one more lazy chunk, maybe two lazy chunks. Not exactly sure why it's free, but it seems to be three. But we need to pro test this properly. We can't be just flying around and counting chunks. Uh, let's automate this. And one reason for this is that I actually heard that, and I kind of remember it in one of the snapshots for 118, 
that uh, chunks are loaded in a cylinder. So like if, if we look at the plane of the ground, it would be a circle around it. It definitely used to be a square in the past. So let's test that if it's like that. So for this, I wrote the script in the uh, Scarpet, which is the scripting language for the carpet mod. There will be a link in the description to the script if you want to do experiments yourself. First, we run the command vdest center uh, where we are on the zombie villager. It doesn't matter if you're exactly on the zombie villager, but, but you need to be in the same chunk. And then I run the command vdest c like this. And this fills the floor of the chunk with red concrete. If we see one hostile mob or more than zero hostile mobs, and if I move away just far enough so I don't see the zombie villager, so about hopefully here. So here we don't see the zombie villager anymore. And if I run this, we get white concrete. So if I move here, and we could be doing this. And now we actually see the zombie villager. I don't even need to press tab. But this is silly. Of course, we can't do it like that. That is too simple. Vdist P scan. And uh, let's scan 10 chunks around this point. So what's happening now is that I am being teleported really, really fast. Actually, it's exactly every three ticks. And uh, I am coloring the chunks with if I can see the zombie villager or not. And it's every three ticks because uh, this seems to be the speed that we need to be running so that the game has time to unload the chunk with the zombie villager. If I run it faster than every three ticks, we get incorrect results. And sorry about the blinking, but uh, we are teleporting really fast. And you can see the zombie villager behind me. And uh, this is the area where everything is loaded. There we go. We're done. And I'm already seeing something very, very interesting. It is not a cylinder. Uh, it is still a square. Just so we can see exactly what's going on here. Let's get our render distance up again. Yeah, it is definitely a square. This is not a circle on the floor and i guess the first teleport didn't properly unload the zombie villager yeah so this was the first chunk we teleported to i guess free ticks is a little bit too fast these are the chunks that are loaded it is not a circle so this doesn't explain why the mob switch was loaded when i was in the afk spot for the ghast farm um i don't i have no answer because the hypothesis that was discussed on discord was that if the chunks were being loaded in a circle it could somehow be explained but clearly it isn't clearly it's still a square and uh, let's just do a little bit more extreme tests let's get our render distance to let's say 15 chunks I'm gonna scan now 20 blocks out. This is gonna take quite a lot of time. I'll see you in a minute so that we can just verify that uh, it is gonna be 18 chunks out from the zombie villager that the zombie villager is gonna be loaded. All right, let's see the results with a big render distance. And yeah, it is looking like expected. Now I actually want to verify that it is exactly the same in all directions. So, but rather than counting the chunks, we can just set our mini HUD reference points to exactly this spot. And let's just fly. Let's start with east. And the edge here is uh, 280 blocks exactly. I set the reference points exactly in the middle of the chunk so that we could get the more or less like within one block exactly the same results in all directions. If it's exactly the same, maybe there is some rounding errors depending on direction. Wouldn't be the first time that happened. And in the west here, we are also 280 blocks away. All that's left now is uh, north and south. And for that, we just do this. And 280 blocks right here. And if we just teleport twice, because I'm lazy to calculate 280 times 2. And yeah, everything is exactly working as expected. So I still don't have an answer why my gas form was loading my mob switch. Uh, while it wasn't doing it 117, I have no idea. I'm gonna dig some more, but I think the an today's answer is gonna be no idea what changed, but probably not much because things are working exactly like they were before. We are loading a square, we're not loading a circle. 
everything works just like before. And this might look like the same world, but it isn't, because I have an idea of what actually changed. And I will tell you in a second, we just need to zombify this guy. I think what changed was a bug fix in 1.18.1, uh, where there was a bug that said that view distance was rounded down or had an off by one error and always uh, had set the view distance to one less than what you set it to. So we are now in 118 rather than 1181, and I will set the render distance to five chunks like this. Let's look at mob caps and let's see how many chunks we can move away. The script is not in this world, so uh, I will not run the script. We will just do this manually. Uh, it's right there. We're going in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they are unloaded. So yeah, let, let's try this again, just to make sure that I didn't mess something up. I go straight in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yes. So let's go to one eighteen one and see that we're getting eight and not seven. And we're back here in this very, very red world. And let's set the render distance to five chunks like this. Let's look at mob caps and let's do the counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It hasn't unloaded yet. Eight. It has unloaded. That's it. That's the whole story. So what actually made the mob switch be loaded in my AFK spot for the ghast farm uh, was a bug fix. And the bug fix is very funny. The title of the bug was actual render distance is two chunks lower than the render distance setting. And that was fixed in 1.15, but 1.15 still had a bug because, well, the title of the bug should have been updated to, I guess, actual render distance is one chunk lower than render distance setting. So that's it. That's everything. Uh, very underwhelming video today. Sorry about that. But yeah, all the all it was was just a bug fix. Nothing critical has changed. Render distance works just like before, except it's loading slightly more chunks. There's a link to the script in the description if you ever want to run it. Maybe in the future something will change, but for now nothing has changed. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a good zombie villager debugging. Bye.